Hey, this is Alex Power. In today's tutorial, I will teach you how to make wipe reveal pass by transition effect in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. Let's get started. For this particular wipe reveal pass by transition effect, you will need two different clips. First clip will be of the movement that you're doing around the object. And I have it right here. Since it's shot in 4K, it's a little larger than our 1080 frame here. I'll just scale to the frame size. And I don't need the sound here, so I will unlink and I will delete the sound. It seems a bit slow, so I will just go ahead and speed this up, go into speed duration and put this like at 200%, which is the in point here, out point here, that's great. Now we need a second clip of the footage you're trying to reveal. In my case, it's been shot on DJI Mavic Pro in 4K as well. Let me scale this to the frame size and make sure it fits the frame perfectly. Looks good. So we have two clips. I speed up this one. I will speed this one in order to match by 200%. We will go back to this first clip and we will choose the point where something about to appear here right after the tree. It is helpful if you have some sort of a stabilizer. This particular footage of this clip was shot on DJI Osmo which has already built-in stabilizer but if you use a glide cam with your DSLR camera or you're just using your hands doing a handheld shot that might work too. So let's get started. We choose that point and we're gonna select the upper clip here. So let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, okay, we're selecting this clip. And uh, make sure opacity stopwatch here toggled. Under the opacity effect, you will choose a polygon mask. Press on that one. We'll just go and stretch this mask outside of the frame. by four corners here pulling by this corners right here okay make sure you can see this square here and this square here and that looks good so we'll just go one step up and you see something is already revealed there just move this a little bit here up move this one here make sure it is all tied here. There's no gaps on the top or on the bottom. It, in my case, it's easy to fix this since I shot this on 4K. I have lots of resolution to work with. So I can just zoom in and uh, cut these corners if something is not right there. But then you go one step more and then you see something is here revealed. You mask that out mask that out and then you go one more and again you must you move the particular mask to the left and slowly you will see it will reveal you the next scene i'm not going to show you the entire process because this is just simply too long i will stop recording right now and i will come back when i'm done and we'll show you the result It looks really nice. It is always helpful to have some sort of a movement in the second scene as well. That way you can just align that movement from the first scene with the second one. That way it would look much more interesting. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, drop a comment and press this bell notification button that you won't miss any of the future videos that I release on this channel. See you next time.